actually is iodine and what significance does iodine deficiency have for human health? Well, covering the basics first, iodine is an element with the atomic number of 53. It makes it actually quite a heavy element on the halogen series and due to it being a halogen it readily bonds with other elements like potassium and sodium to form a salt. The name iodine comes from the Greek iodes meaning violet coloured. Iodine, however, is actually quite rare, both on the Earth and actually in the universe as a whole. For instance, there's less than a tenth of a gram of free iodine in a whole tonne of seawater. Though, because of iodine's density, the deeper you go, the more iodine or iodate is actually present in the oceans. Now, iodine can actually be commercially extracted from the brine found in some deep wells around the world, where the iodine content can be as high as about one tenth of a gram per litre, especially in places like Japan and Chile. And despite its rather relative rarity, it is essential to the operation of a healthy human body, especially during the first few years of life. Thankfully though, we only need a few grams of this element throughout the whole of our lifetime. And this can normally be found from plants and other foods in our diet. Because there's so little iodine in some soils and it's needed in the early stages of other animals growth and development, a number of the best sources for iodine in the diet are things like milk, fish, seaweed and eggs that can be found in significant amounts in some grains and root vegetables and also in fruit. So a generally normally healthy balanced diet will contain enough iodine. However, because the primary source for iodine is the oceans. The further you get from the sea and the higher up you go, or if you go to areas of low rainfall, less iodine will actually be present in the soil. So inland mountainous areas or desert and scrublands far from the coast are those which may have a problem with iodine since any food grown locally may have very little iodine in it and other foods like fish and seaweed may be expensive to obtain generally. Now, in the human body, the iodine is mainly stored in the thyroid gland. The two most common conditions associated with a lack of iodine are goiter and developmental problems. A goiter is re recognisable by a dramatic swelling around the neck in the region of the thyroid gland. This swelling happens because the body has spotted the fact that it's actually short on iodine. In order to capture the maximum amount of iodine from the diet, it increases the size of the thyroid gland, gland to make sure every last scrap of iodine is actually captured. However, this dramatic swelling can also then result in breathing and swallowing difficulties. The good news is that an increased amount of iodine in the diet reduces the need for this drastic measure by the body, and then the thyroid returns to normal. The developmental problems are far more serious. The first thing is actually that they tend to lead to things like stunted growth and mental abilities. However, it can also cause things like deafness, eye problems and coordination issues. Iodine deficiency is thought to be the leading cause of preventable mental deficiency around the world and due to that linkage with particular geographical regions, it has led to prejudice and stereotyping of various groups as being mentally backward or slow, where the key may just be in the lack of iodine in the diet. For this reason, many places are also adding iodine in tiny, tiny quantities to salt to make up the gap which may exist in the diet. That's just a brief look at iodine, a rare element but an important one especially for human health.